guys i'm back christy tony calligraphy by ct um in this video we're going to talk about pointed pin nibs um basically talking about the proper way to hold a pin um we're going to talk about uh an oblique nib holder versus a straight nib holder um if you are new here I'd love for you to consider liking and uh, subscribing to my channel. Um, if you are not new here, hit that like button and let's get started. This is one of the worksheets from the class. I just wanna talk about actually how you're gonna actually hold the pen. Now this straight nib holder is a nib holder that I'd like to give to students simply because um if you are dealing with lefties a an oblique nib holder will kind of trip a lefty up depending on what kind of lefty they are so you've got some lefties that will you know really write really curve like like they'll hook their writing so it's kind of tricky giving them an oblique pen holder so i like to start out with straight um, and the thing about straight is um, it's, going to, uh, it's going to require a little extra work because you're going to have to make sure that your nib is positioned correctly in order to create these thick and thin lines, okay? So I would say, you know, just make sure that if this is something that you, especially if this is a pain point for you, if you struggled with this, um, I like to rest the pin, like most of the writing that I do, I use finger motions. I know, you know, the, the most fabulous calligraphers use uh, shoulder and uh, more wrist movements, but I do use a lot of finger motions. That's how I learned. Um, so I like to have my middle finger and my thumb really do a lot of the writing and obviously uh, my index finger will help to guide the uh, pen, okay? And also just when you think about it, you're not just really murdering this paper. You're going to glide over this paper. The ink is going to flow through this paper. Instead of thinking about going from left to right, I want you to think about going up and down because it really is a rhythm of entry strokes and exit strokes entry strokes and exit strokes entry strokes and exit strokes so you're kind of underneath your stroke okay so because i think a lot of times we just think oh let me start writing you know and it's like eh, no not really but um this is a good place to start okay um for uh, those of you who are new to this channel um, I talk about this a little more in that free brush lettering class, but this is the X height. You see they're all marked with the um, dark line, just to make sure you don't get confused. Um, so this is your cap height, this is your baseline, and this is your X height. So the X height is what houses your lowercase letters. And obviously from the cap height to the baseline is where the capital letters go. But anywho, in terms of the way you're going to hold the pen. So um, we're here. I finally got it going. So we're going to start this way. Now, I like to use my pen on more of an angle. I've seen calligraphers be pretty vertical on their movements. It's just not natural for me to be that vertical. So I do, I'm, I'm more of like a 45 degree angle girl. Oh yeah, I meant to mention your, your pinky. Pinky is like how you're gonna kind of move around. You're gonna slide. Okay. But that becomes more important when you're actually writing out entire words, not just these individual letters. Let's do the L.
Ich möchte das hier mal einfach. Okay, so now we have the oblique pen holder. This is the pen holder that I don't like handing out in class just because I think that uh, lefties sometimes will have a problem with it. If it's a face-to-face -face class, then um, I'll just bring both. I'll give, I'll give people both because I just want to make sure everybody has success in the class. But as you can see, um, this pen with the phalange that comes out of the nib holder, it will position your nib where it needs to go on your paper. So this is why it's so popular. Um, it takes a little of the guesswork out of what you have to do. You just dip your pen, lay it down, and you can start executing your entry and exit strokes. So that's why it's a popular one. So let's get started. Okay, so um, again, this just shows you um, how the nib is actually in position. And um, you can just start with your entry and exit strokes in order to get your shaded lines. There are a lot of people who really, really prefer the oblique. And I know why. It's because they they likely learned with this. I learned with a straight nib, so um, an oblique came later for me. So I'm fine with either one. Um, depending on what I'm doing or what script I am rendering, I will say that the straight holder can be a little better. It gives you a little bit more freedom. Um, depending on what you're writing. But other than that, no, I, I, I like either one. But I wanted to be able to show you um, just a few drills on exactly how this looks when holding the pen because this can be a painful process for a lot of people. So this is it. This is the oblique and this is the straight. And um, I appreciate you guys watching and um, seeing the difference between the angled nib, you know, with the phalange and then the straight nib. Um, and I hope that this helps you on your journey. And I will see you in the next video. Bye.